Prior to arrival of your window container, we ship you a set of tools as well as installation brackets and screws. In the tools, this is the construction handle. You'll use this as a temporary handle during install in the construction phase. On the other end of it, it also has a special tool that helps in releasing the sash. The second tool we ship is a six millimeter Allen key that is bent so that you actually get to all the positions of adjusting the window. And then we ship you brackets and screws. The bracket is for fixed windows, while the screw is for operable windows. We'll show you that in a moment. For handling the windows and the big glass pieces, we strongly recommend you use heavy duty suction cups. We don't provide these suction cups, but you can rent or buy them locally. This unit is a 125 pound load unit and thereby can move relatively big sashes. Typically you need two of them. Remember that when you use suction cups, never put them face or suction cup down onto the floor because if you mar or somewhat damage the suction cup surface, they will not work anymore properly. Right, so for taking this sash out, we first mount the suction cups. And then we can prepare to take the sash out. We take our construction handle first to unlock the window. The windows come shipped in the locked position, which means handle down. A 90 degree turn allows the window to turn in, while a 180 degree turn unlocks the tilting function. So for now, put it in the turn position, and then take off the hinge caps. Start with the upper hinge cap, which just pulls out and then the lower hinge cap, which pulls up. Be careful to store these somewhere safe where they don't get broken. Next, take off the handle and pull the hinge pin in the upper hinge. The back of the handle has a special blade that allows you to pull this. Sometimes you need to lower the hinge pins first a little bit, and then you can pull it with the blade. If you do not have the construction handle handy, you can use a regular screwdriver or anything to push this hinge pin out. Now we can grab the sash, tilt it out, and then just lift it up. You see that the lower hinge pin does not have to be taken out beforehand, you simply lift it off it. Now we can take the sash to the side. Is there anything else? Now that we have removed the sash, the frame is much easier to handle. Big frames typically ship with additional blocks along the bottom in order to protect the heavy window during transport. Also at this time, make sure that the seal is fully seated and that the cladding is fully seated. These windows, this is our thermal clad series, have an aluminum rain screen cladding. If requested, it is set back a three quarter inch to an inch and a half for over insulation. The rain screen cladding means that there's about a quarter inch gap between the wood and the aluminum. The cladding sits on little rails which allow the aluminum to move independently from the wood because the aluminum extends and contracts more in heat and cool phases. If, if you for any reason have to loosen the aluminum cladding or take it off, or if you note that any of the clips are not fully seated, you can use a three quarter inch wrench to open and close the clips that connect the cladding. The wrench needs to be very, very narrow, so sometimes you'll have to grind it down if you only have a thicker wrench. And you see in there, there's white mushroom clips, and it's a 90 degree turn to undo them and loosen them up. Now we're ready to take the shipping blocks off from the bottom of the window. Note that when you're installing a door, these are typically mounted to the aluminum threshold of the door. In addition to them being screwed in, in door doors they are also often caulked to the threshold. 